Hello legends of the arena, welcome into Cleo Ra. I'm going to jump straight in. We're going to see what the divine realm wants us to know. Take what uplifts you, take what makes you feel good and ignore the rest. I read for a very select group of people. So that being said, I'm going to get straight on with it. Let's see what's going on. Thank you Archangel Michael for blessing, guiding this reading. To all those who move in love, in non-physical, for any of those who wish to convey a clear message through me. At this time, I welcome you in. And thank you in advance for your love and guidance. Okay. We've got the tower energy. Pluto is coming through very heavily here. I'm getting the message that someone's been holding something off. Someone's been delaying something. And it happens so much to all of us that we know something inevitable has got to happen. And in this case, it looks like a huge transformation. And a big angelic transformation with this judgment energy. This would be like being born again. I'm getting regrowing your wings, right? I'm hearing that song in my head, mending the broken wings. So I feel like you've known this is coming for a long time. For whoever this message is resonating with, you know how elevated you are. I'm getting this message of you know how beautiful your consciousness is and you know how kind your heart is. And I feel like there's a situation that you've been in that's been dragging you down. Like spirits show me an elevator and that every time you've been going into this situation, it's been pulling you down in frequency. But what they're showing me is one of those elevators that actually have a cage. We don't really have them in the UK. Maybe they have them in industrial places. I don't know. But they're showing me like an industrial cage elevator and that there's a situation you've been going into that you know you've been feeling this has been having an effect on your frequency because you are someone who's got this golden aura, this really beautiful, light-hearted way about you. And I don't know if there have been people around you who've almost been making you feel like you're the one who somehow has to shift your energy down to be appropriate. And I feel like you're outnumbered here. I really do. I'm feeling this energy of being outnumbered by low consciousness, people who will think they're doing it right, because they're all doing it the same. And I feel like maybe you're the odd one out in a certain situation. I'm getting the word fluttering, like there's something soft and beautiful and light about your aura and about the energy you carry. I'm getting that for someone out there, you've got a one degree placement, a Pisces placement in one degree. That could be relevant to this. It's almost like they're showing me a crack of a door being open. Now, anyone who's worked with voodoo tarot and things like that you understand the concept of things peeking at you from beyond the veil cracks opening doorways opening but what i'm being shown for this is that you are the doorway and your soul is this oh god that was a lot they just gave me okay okay your soul is the cracked open doorway that allows these beautiful fluttery gorgeous buttery they want me to say buttery and they're showing me buttercups, those little yellow flowers that in England we will hold them under our chin. And, you know, there's some little folklore thing to do with buttercups that may be relevant to someone watching this. What Spirit is telling me is that every time you open the door of your soul, every time you be yourself, it creates a reaction in some situation. Or maybe this is a lifelong thing where the energy you're supposed to bring into this plane, it's been met with some resistance. Because there's something about your energy and they're showing me a gentle ocean. You know those beautiful little surf kind of energies that come in when the ocean isn't too stormy and it's a gentle lapping, it laps at the beach. And then they're showing me this big pile of rubble which is stopping these gentle ocean waves from flowing the way they're supposed to be. This is the rubble. You are the soft ocean waves. You are the angelic water that's supposed to clean this plane of existence. Now, when they were telling me about that crack in the door being open, your soul trying to get itself fully opened, but finding every time you open yourself up a little crack, there's some sort of energy. There's some sort of spirit showing me this. It's like an electric shock. And they're giving me the reference of the episode of South Park when Cartman, Cartman's mum was so in despair that she had to get the dog whisperer in. And Spirit's being kind of humorous with this where Caesar Milan would have to go pss, pss, to try and control, normally it would be to control the animals, right? But in, in the case of the South Park episode, they were jokingly, you know, using it to control Cartman. But I feel like something's been zapping you. 
Now this could be an energy drain, the way it's been zapping you, or this could be someone trying to jolt you, someone trying to throw energy at you somehow, snapping at you. This could be people talking behind your back in a certain situation, but you're feeling this energy and it's almost like electric shock kind of energy where it's affecting you, it's affecting your nervous system because your gentility is so needed on this planet, this essence that you've got that is so refined compared to these energies I'm feeling down here who are low vibrational and, you know, when I hear an energy and non-physically scoffing as if to say, you are worth a million of these, my dear, spirit sees everything, you are worth a million of these energies that are trying to drag you down. And I'm feeling this swirling energy. You know, we can swirl upwards into the white light or we can swirl downwards into the abyss. And I feel like the people you've been dealing with, you know, it's like those people that have been in prison for so long, it starts to feel normal to them. Whoever you've been dealing with here, their souls are, they may not appear on the surface to be the lowest vibrating souls. They may seem like normal people with normal jobs or something like that. But there's something about the spiritual state of their being where, yeah, spirit keeps shaking their head saying they will not ascend. They will not get through to the next world. So as much as these people seem like they are such important presences or as much as they've taken up space and energy and they've taken up space in your mind, spirit keeps scoffing and shaking their head. I've got a guide coming through who's particularly quite strict, you know, like one of those strict teachers we used to get back when teachers gave a damn, right? those I love a strict teacher if you're a strict teacher no offense but you know it's getting kind of dire out there this spirit guide is coming through with a very strict stern energy okay wearing a cloak now this is either an old headmaster's cloak or something very similar okay hmm show me a strange hat what are those Quaker a Quaker something like a Quaker here coming through also okay so that may have some symbolic meaning for somebody these energies here won't ascend and it looks to me like you're about to we've got the seven of cups here all this confusion all this confused emotion with this little one just sat there not knowing what to do with the whole world of stars and the whole galaxy out there waiting for her but something's got her grounded something's got her in the rubble a little bit and you know there is that energy of that beach i don't know if i was talking about the beach before this card came out but, you know, this ocean is hitting up against her. It's almost like, yeah, spirit saying there's something you've got to do to stop blocking your own flow. Because it may feel like these people are blocking your, fr your, your flow. <laughs> I was about to say throw then. So I don't know if someone's been wrapping themselves up in a throw. Or if you're about to throw somebody out. But that came through for a reason. Maybe someone's thinking about kicking someone out. Maybe you feel bad about it, but Spirit's saying you know you need to release yourself. You know you need to be free. That's for one person out there, someone who doesn't value themselves as much as they should, someone who doesn't realize that the fact that they don't fit in with these ones who will never ascend, who will never shift their consciousness. Spirit's telling me they, they haven't got one grain of kindness. As someone I'm picking up on, they don't, they don't have one grain of kindness. And Spirit doesn't want you wasting your kindness on them if there is anything lurking in your mind where you feel like maybe I shouldn't go or you know I'm seeing a big change here with judgment this is a huge regeneration and with the tower right next to it what I'm getting here loud and clear is that if you don't make the decision you know you've got to make the tower will come along and they're showing me skittles they're showing me a bowling ball and everything will be arranged by the universe because you're supposed to be in this condition here and it's funny how I say you're supposed to be in this condition because I was thinking situation. So the Empress coming out, this is about birth and fertility. And we've got this beautiful waterfall in the background here. Emerald green is coming through really powerfully with this one. And they're telling me you knew this was coming. You've got very crystal clear vision. And your crown chakra is, is lit up. And I feel like you're the one who's had all the power. And like with so many good hearted people on this planet, the devil never sleeps. While we're worrying with our big hearts. If we're doing the right thing or not, we're slowing ourselves down. Whoever you've been dealing with here, they don't stop and pause to wonder if they've done right or wrong. They are blind. They are unconscious. They are ignorant. But spirit's not letting you go. Judgment energy with the empress. It's time for you to, I feel like, get out of this confusion. Because I'm seeing someone strutting along the beach now. Like Baywatch style with this seven of cups. 
yeah, some people stand in the darkness, afraid to step into the light. And I feel like what's been happening with you is you've inadvertently been going into the darkness. Maybe you've been picking up on other people's anxieties. I'm getting stomach pains here because this is going to affect your solar plexus. Someone could have been to the doctor and someone may even think that they've got something serious like irritable, irritable bowel syndrome. When really, the minute you take yourself away from these low vibrational worlds, everything clears up because your energy rises back up that elevator, back into the divine heavenly frequency that you emit. And they're saying that you permit, so there's something about your presence that permits this door to open to the non-physical, this door that so far I feel like has been open a crack and spirit wants you to swing the doors wide open, a bit like this chariot card and you can see more wings on this card galloping forward really confidently. There's a really easy choice here but it may require you to realise where maybe you've been too kind, where maybe you needed to have the pillar of severity. Our kindness is wasted when we don't have a balance, right? And I feel like you're going to get this balance going on really beautifully with the chariot energy. Let's see what else is coming out here. Okay, there we go. There's the title card coming out. So this is a very special message. We've got the three of wands here. The title card, which is my card that represents a nod from the elders, a nod from the gods, yeah, eight of pentacles, something's really coming along to get you right in where you fit in. And this lady's sewing here. So there are many things being done non-physically to bring this situation together so perfectly for you to become abundant, fruitful, or more abundant, more fruitful. This to me is so much about your emotions and so much about letting your emotions guide you in the right direction. Because there's something you've been putting off. We've got this queen of swords here. Oh, look at her head held in the air, her big pointy sword of truth, her knowing that her truth about how she feels is all that matters. You know, sometimes people feel like they've got to stay with people out of guilt. You know, they don't want to break up with people because they feel bad. They're like, oh, what will this person do without me? There could be something going on like that here for someone. And Spirit's saying this energy you've got where you feel sorry for people, you're going to realise in future that it wasn't a relevant energy. It was just something that was almost like they're showing me a, a pin where you stick a piece of paper into a notice board. There's something you're going to realize isn't your responsibility in some situation. This could be an employer that makes you feel like if you're not there, everything falls apart. Something like that. But I can see with the seven of wands and the nine of cups right here. Yes, I can feel this victory for you. I could feel that with this nine of cups. That's so beautiful. There's something with your life path here and you defending it prolifically relentlessly this is about you being so hard in your positionings and there's that pillar of severity and the pillar of mercy without us having that strict saturnian nature without us representing essentially our grandparents our elders you know those ones who represent tradition all of the love falls down and i feel like that's what's been happening maybe you've been putting your love your time your effort somewhere and it's been causing a big disruption in your emotions so i feel like this is going to be easy for you because we've got the nine of cups here six of pentacles three of wands the universe is really coming along for you to really give you this big boost and i feel like it's only fair with you being in this position this is a a position that you hold here and i just got shown non-physically as well it's almost like you're a gatekeeper that's it because I just felt you with, a, it's almost like with a staff stuck into the metaphysical net of reality. It's a gatekeeper energy or a doorway opener energy or something no one's ever heard of that has to do with letting energy flow in from non-physical. It almost feels not quite like hacking, but where you go physically, it's almost like you plant a flag Okay, so what Spirit's giving me here is that if you can be happy and high vibrational, then anywhere your energy goes, you can open this non-physical doorway. But let's say you go to a new place. Let's just pick London, for example. Say you've never been to London before and you go to London and uh, you don't have to be consciously aware of the fact that you are a spiritual light worker to do that, right? But let's just say you're in London and the ideal thing for you as a light worker or as a spiritual chosen one on this planet would be to get yourself cozy in London, to get your frequency tuned and warmed up and to bathe you in happiness until your frequency goes ping and it hits the height of your crown chakra. Then you anchor in the energy. And what I'm getting here is whatever situation this is, 
People have been making sure that before you get cushy, before you get comfortable, before you get happy and ping your light on, what's been happening is people have been doing weird things to you. This is weird energy that you've been picking up on that probably didn't even make sense, but I'm getting, for whoever this message is for, you know, and you've known a long time that you've got to turn your back and spirits laughing here. Like you already know, but just like most of us on this planet, you know, it can take us a minute sometimes, okay? They're saying, you know, it might've taken you a minute, but you're building in the background. You're sewing details in, in the background. So they're saying your pace is perfect, okay? They don't want me to make you feel rushed by them, but they just want to give you this, kind comforting reassurance that the decision you know you've got to make they're there with you they're helping you make it and right now it could feel like it's trickier to make this decision that you've already thought of that's already resting in your soul because of these emotions yeah it's like a bathtub that needs to be emptied out so let's have a look here what else do we need to know turtle energy coming out on the table let's get another one yeah, I feel like you've been hiding your power a little bit. Or this is more about you getting yourself prepared. This is almost like with these details you're picking up on, spirits comparing it to an actress or an actor who has to memorize their script before they go on stage. So I feel like you've been doing that. Whatever situation this re represents, it was perfect for you to learn. But I do feel like you're going to be like a turtle crawling out of your shell because I'm getting that shaggy lyric just like a turtle crawling out of my shell right buffalo energy so this is how staunch your energy is this is how firm this is how rooted this is how grounded your energy is and it's funny because as soft as this energy is non-physically this is how entitled you are to hold your space on the earth okay so there could have been people who insinuated or inferred or gave you the feeling that you weren't wanted or that you somehow didn't belong in certain spaces or places and what i'm getting with this buffalo is that you work for god you work for the divine if anyone's entitled to be there you are they want another one for this because they want you to be really sure of your divine work on this planet and this back turning thing i feel like the minute you turn your back on this your emotions are going to lift up you're no longer going to be sat on the cold damp wet sand fully clothed right but you're going to pick yourself up and you're going to be in your garden of eden this is heaven on earth and look at that big gold and beautiful shield here for someone it's inevitable that you put this golden shield on but you're going to do it you know if this message is for you yeah we've got the starfish here and the sea serpent so you're sitting on all this unleashed potential but right now you're bringing all the details together the universe is helping you do this and yeah, with the Queen of Swords, she operates without any emotion whatsoever. She operates from a very high position of consciousness where she sees the long term. And she sees that if she doesn't do something right here, right now, it could affect her long term security further on. So this is just about not rushing you. But this is just about that lack of guilt, that knowing that you're here to live your soul's purpose and no one else's, right? Let's have a look at the Empress. Because this would be Libra in the coldest, coldest, most detached format. Justice, you know, the judge, you know, seeing things completely coldly and fairly, though. That's the thing with the Queen of Swords. She seems brutal, but she's pure justice. She's as fair as fair can be. And then we've got this Empress, Taurus, Libra energy, pure Venus. Venus exalted on the plane. Venus brought forth into physicality. Okay, they're saying you're going to feel this tickling you. You're going to feel this energy tickling you because there's something that's dying to get out. This is your rebirth. This is you. Maybe for someone out there, you feel like you're coming back to life. We've got the page of cups coming out on the chariot. So there could be a new offer coming in, a job offer, something coming in right at the right time, a message that you need to hear, something that's going to lift you up. For some reason, they're showing me the dryer sheets that you would put into a tumble dryer and they make the washing smell nice all fresh and crisp and oh nice energy i love that smell eight of pentacles again so you're sitting on a lot of data that you've brought in from past lives but not only that you've got the authority in this plane and i feel like it's going to be a bit of a switch in how you see things because something here has tried to take you down and make you believe that you have no authority that's the nature of the beast on this planet they always try and make you feel like you're the opposite of what you are they always try and make you feel bad when you're good and good when you're bad and all that crap but in your case, they've been trying to 
degrade your value, make you feel like you're not worth the most when you are. I really know there's someone been there's someone around you who's been trying to act like you're not worth what you are. And I can feel that so clearly. There's the legacy, ten of pentacles, big loot coming in for whoever this is. I feel like the minute you get your ass in the seat of something, and I mean fully dedicated, you could already be in the process of doing this. I feel like it's going to bring you such big dividends. It just does not get bigger than this, really, with the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles. This is huge. This is everything you've ever wanted. And this is you tuning your frequency, getting ready for this big offer to come knocking at your door. And this is connected to your spiritual pathway, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to feel the difference quite quickly when you make this decision. They're saying turn the key, right? Even if it breaks someone's heart, I feel like someone's going to be really disappointed that you are who you are here. You know, this is about you. They're telling me this is about you being committed to your soul's mission, committed to your birth chart, committed to your own consciousness and your own soul's development. And if it means someone's going to be a little bit upset for a minute on the earth plane, then so be it. But I feel like, you know, big changes coming with deaf energy. The universe will kick us up our ass if we don't do what we promised and told ourselves and committed to God that we would do, right? Deaf energy, six of pentacles. There's a big gust of wind blowing through your life. And you're being guided here with the Six of Pentacles in the right ways to take powerful roadways. They're telling me powerful courses of action with the King of Cups and the Three of Wands. Two cards where we can see the ocean and the full potential that the vastness and, and unlimited nature of the ocean bring us. And I feel like that's what you're going to do. You're, you're diving into something here. But this is with power. And this is with emotional depth because I feel like whatever situation you've been in, maybe hearing this reading will make you realize, hang on a minute, they had the nerve to try and act like I was the opposite of who I am when I'm chosen, when I work for God, when I've got this divine legacy in the non-physical, people thought they could get me to stick around. People really are that selfish that they don't care about ruining your whole soul's mission. They don't care if it messes up your future for the next 10 lifetimes, as long as they get their codependent fix. You're too good to be giving people their codependent fixes. Yeah, look how that flipped over. I feel like you've been nurturing someone or some situation that you've known was doomed to crumble. And I feel like Spirit wants you to get ahead of the game. Where's that chariot card? Spirit wants you to get ahead of the game here and move forward with oomph, with that big power, with that ferocious energy of being ferociously sure of who you are and very confident in your emotions and very confident that your emotions are always the indicator and that if something doesn't feel right for you that's your spirit guides telling you it's not for you someone could have made you feel like you're doing something wrong or that you're picking up on energies wrong i'm getting ah uh, uh, you've got your own internal guidance system so that i really want to impress this on someone's mind if there's someone out there that someone's been trying to tell you you can't trust your own feelings, they're lying. You've got your own internal guidance system. And if something doesn't feel right for you, it's because your soul is telling you it's not right for you. Follow your own heart at all times, my darling. Okay, that's for someone out there. I hope this reading's helped, my babbers. I really do. And uh, send you a big kiss. Lots of love. Mwah.